All right, we are on our way. We're about to get on the uh, Disney Wish. And uh, of course, as I mentioned before, we've got a couple of the Dizarella team with us. Maris and Pamela. And we're joining six others wow. here today. Wow. So yeah, no, we're looking excited. Uh, excuse me, looking forward to this. Really excited. Uh, um, what are y'all looking forward to mostly? Introducing Pamela to her first Disney cruise. Ah, yes. there we go. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. It's my first Disney cruise. Just getting on there. I'm excited for all the Halloween festivities, the Halloween party stuff, and characters in their costumes. I, you know, I think everybody, anybody that knows me knows I'm obsessed with the characters. So I'm excited. <laughs> So, and uh, we'll be dust dressed up and enjoying it. Sorry. And so, obviously, if it's your, uh, your first Disney cruise, it's your first time on Castaway Key, right? Yes, obviously. Yes. Obviously. I'm so excited about that. Yes. So, um, I can't wait to experience that and see all the island. And what about you, Miss Dizzy? I'm just excited, yes, for my two agents who, two or three agents who've never done a Disney cruise before. I'm excited. For them to get to experience it, see the differences between a regular cruise and a Disney cruise, and that love of Disney that we have um, combined with cruising is just magical. Um, so I'm just excited to spend time with them and be back on the Wish on a Disney cruise because <coughs> I love those more than anything. Um, yeah. Alrighty. I'm for it all. Well, I'm excited to get in, get on board, and just I, I don't know. We, you know, we were on it one other time, and I had a great time. Want to get back into the uh, hyperspace lounge once again. Um, the and, frozen dinner show, yeah, um, was a lot of. Um, that was actually really good. The marble. And then I want. I'm I'm excited to get back out and do some snorkeling around uh, out there, and uh, try and this time get to all of the uh, special statues and things that are uh, out there so hopefully i'll have have a lot of good footage of the uh, snorkeling for you guys but here we are pulling in Okay, so we are here on deck eight at our cabin. We're gonna go in, and so you, this is your, what on the other ships is called your fish extender. Here it's an owl extender. And this little um, envelope houses your key cards for your room. That out. So you can see my card here. And go on in and put the card in here and turn on the light. Oops. All right. So right here as you walk in, you have your closets, robes, your safe, some nice shelving, more closets. We've got our restroom here and the split bathroom concept that Disney's known for. We've got a tub shower combo. Hello. All right, the 
super comfortable bed that Disney Cruise Line is also known for. You've got some plugs there on either side, a little nightstand, Every guest on our TV, to a specific meeting point called an and the different, the artwork back here, this one is Cinderella, different decks have different themes, and we've got a sleeper sofa there, Sorry, our vanity and mirror, and then we have a veranda balcony, this one is... Oh, I think I already started to open it. Okay. Get this open here. There is a latch. See, for all of you, look how high up this is. I'm five feet tall. It's even a little difficult for me to reach. So it is not easy to open. We have a little bit of an angled balcony here. We can see the port and the ship. Yeah. Got your chairs and a table. And that's it, perfect for two people. Even, you can even do three in this room. And I am excited to sleep in this bed because if you know anything about me, you know that I love the Disney Cruise Line beds and the Disney Cruise Line pillows. I've ordered them for my own home. Uh, so, uh, my look, my agents left me some gifts. I'm going to, well, happy birthday and five Dizarelli ears. Oh, look at this. I have the sweetest agent. I swear that I do. Thank you, Taylor. You are a doll. I adore you. And I'm so excited for that. So, um, this turns on the lights out here. The curtain balcony. The balcony lights. Your mirror lights up. And then the ceiling lights. So, plenty of outlets here as well. All right, let's get moving in. All right, so I just wanted to show you our, the location of our room. Um, so we are right here on the, uh, of course they have the forward and aft set of elevators, and we are at the aft side. But I gotta show you, Melanie did such a great job. Off the elevators here, the very first room here to the left. Hello. Hello, 8616. Absolutely perfect spot. And a lot of people get worried that there's noise so close to the elevator. I've never found that to be the case. I just find them extra convenient. All right, let's take a look inside the concierge veranda stateroom. The basic standard veranda staterooms in the concierge level are basically the same as a regular uh, veranda stateroom. There are a few differences. You've got some upgraded finishes and decor, uh, the, but the size and the layout of the stateroom are exactly the same. They do sleep five. They have the Murphy bed there you can see, the pull-down Murphy bed, and the one that comes from the ceiling, the Pullman bed. Um, but the, the vanity, the, the rest, everything else is the same. The balconies are the same size. Um, but what you get with the concierge is that concierge level access. Now they do have some one and two bedroom plus the suites um, in the concierge level that are um, a different layout and much larger. Um, so the one area where you can tell a little bit of a difference is in the bathroom here. You have the rainfall shower head um, and again with the decor you have the nice upgraded mosaic tile there. Um, but basically the same layout um, so just a little bit a few differences you've still got the split bathroom as well and yeah you've got that nice rainfall shower head so that is a perk um, for a lot of people and you do have the tub uh, so that you can yeah split bathroom uh, which I mean, know families love and on this sailing we had four adult women sharing the cabin and it worked out just fine uh, they were able to manage and and uh, make it all work so you've got your robes in there to borrow and some slippers uh, the divided closet plenty of storage you've got your safe as well in here and shelving 
said, ex pretty much exactly the same in those standard categories. You're just going to get the concierge level access, access to the concierge level deck. We are up here at Marceline Market and uh, for the buffet. Uh, like I said, uh, Melanie was uh, a little bit hungry, so she went ahead and got up there and grabbed something. And I'm going to get something here in a minute. What did you get, Mel? So I've got a grilled chicken salad, basic. I got some cooked shrimp, some beef strips, grilled chicken, broccoli, mashed potatoes, and I also had to grab this charcuterie, charcuterie board because they're just pretty, and who doesn't love cheese and meat, right? Amen to that. <laughs> so our table will share this, and uh, yeah. So mine's kind of basic. They have a lot of other stuff up there. I'm sure Brent will get some more adventurous food, like tiki masala and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, all right, to all dig right. in. I was finally able to get up there and uh, get some food um, after dealing with some, uh, some business related stuff. So um, I'm excited. That lamb chop looks really good. Okay, so we are doing a real quick review of uh, Marceline Market. Um, and to be honest with you, we always, I know we keep repeating it, that we're not big fans of um, buffets. Um, it was actually really good. Um, the, the, the pork chop was really good uh, for me. The pecan uh, tart was really good. Um, the roast beef. Um, the, the broccoli was a little over buttered. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm giving it, I'm giving it really good. What did you think? Yeah, it was good. Good. Typical Disney um, cruise food. Pretty good. Um, shrimp were stand out for me. They were delicious, perfectly seasoned and cooked. And um, you know, I kind of went with more basic meats. They were a little tad dry, but um, again, I went with like the most basic, plain stuff you could get. So, wow. But but the like the shrimp. Perfect. I love the broccoli. Mashed potatoes were good. Um, salad was good. Desserts were good. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, surprise from us that we're actually going to give thumbs up to the um, to the uh, buffet. All right. So as usual, Melanie's got to go over and take care of some issues uh, over there with uh, at uh, customer service, whatever. And uh, so I made my way over here to the coffee bar. Couldn't uh, couldn't decide on if I wanted a cocktail or a, or a, a cold brew. So I got a cold brew cocktail, and I'm having to look down and read the the ingredients here because you know my memory. Um, so it's called the Brew and Sand. Um, it's cold brew, monkey shoulder, cherry herring, and Cointreau, uh, and what's really nice, um, which I had a picture of it, but I'll turn this around and show you as well. Um, right there with the, the blood orange uh, on top, um, that it adds uh, not just to the flavor, but the, um, the um, aroma on that is really good. Mixes very well uh, with the, uh, the aroma of the cold brew. Very, very nice, uh, very, very nice drink. We are getting ready for the sail away party. Yeah, exciting. I love the sail away party on Disney cruise ships because they just set the mood for the whole cruise. They're so fun, um, get you in that Disney spirit. And they, Disney does sail away better than um, most any other cruise line. a look inside the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique here on the Disney Wish. Much like the boutiques in the parks, you can bring your children ages three and up for a makeover experience. Uh, you can see they have a room full of costumes ranging from princesses to pirates and royal knights to even Captain Minnie and Captain Mickey. 
Uh, there are a couple different package levels and you can either choose to get a package where the costume is included or you can even bring your own on board and just have the makeover experience. And here is the salon where the fairy godmothers perform their magic. And for the adults and teens on board, we have the Rapunzel themed Untangled Salon, which is perfect for a couple of hours of relaxation and pampering. You can make your hair and nail appointments in the Disney Cruise Line app before you board, or you can stop by to see if they have any available open times throughout your cruise. down here for dinner at Arendelle. Melanie was able to uh, get us a table down here at Arendelle for the entire group, which, what is there, about eight of us now? Thirteen. Thirteen. I can't count. Just another thing I can't do. Um, so, you know, there's a large group uh, of, of all the Dizarella, uh, not all the Dizarella, but a bunch of the Dizarella agents and family. Uh, of course, we did uh, Arendelle on the last uh, Wish Cruise as well. Uh, we were right up on the stage. We're going to be a little further back this time because we have such a large group. But let's give you an idea where we are sitting. You might be able to tell right there where the stage is. The uh, server that just came up pointing is right behind him. So Melanie uh, decided to uh, take a little bit of a rest uh, before we go down to do 80s music trivia. So I am heading down to Hook's Barbary, uh, one of what was my favorite spots um, last time on board. Of course, because of their, uh, their bourbon uh, selection and their uh, old fashions, specialty old fashions. So uh, we head down there and have one of those and then head over and do some uh, 80s music trivia. Right, so here we are. Uh, I am concerned they may not be uh, doing the uh, the old fashions tonight I don't know there's only one person in there doing hair uh, so let's go in and find out if the bartender is around all right so apparently I was right they are not I didn't know the times but it's from five until eight every day so they are not currently doing it so you know, of course I'll be back tomorrow and I am doing the um, old-fashioned tasting and possibly um, one of the whiskey tastings I don't know uh, if Melanie decided to do well she signed me up for both of them but I don't know I told her to go ahead and cancel one of them I didn't want to spend that much kind of money uh, on both of them so we'll see but uh, as I was saying last time around you, you have to check out this uh, selection of course I mean look at the Look at the pappies up here. Uh, I mean, the, the Weller. Michters, I mean, just absolutely phenomenal selection. And uh, I can't wait to, to do a few of these before the end of the uh, cruise. And definitely whatever you do, take some time to come down here and check them out. 
So of course, right across from the um, from the Bayou Bar is the Hyperspace Lounge. If you guys saw the uh, review and everything from the time we spent in here the last time, I just wanted to take a quick peek in here. I might see about grabbing a drink or two uh, in a little bit, but I uh, just really wanted to take a quick look in here. Hoping they had done a little more to uh, theme it better, um, but uh, hadn't heard that they had done anything, so I assumed not, but uh, figured I'd take a look anyway. I still do think that the uh, quote-unquote window here uh, is really cool. Some of the, the scenes are really cool. Um, but uh, anyway, see if I can make it back in here in a little bit. Okay, so instead of doing the uh, Bayou Bar, uh, uh, I decided to uh, jump over here into Hyperspace Lounge, um, have a quick drink, and then I'll probably go over there and get one of the old fashions. But there was a, I don't remember what it was, but it had Woodford Reserve in it. Uh, double oak, Woodford Reserve double oak in it last time. I gotta get one of these. Smoked uh, drink, not me to call it a cocktail, because it's really just smoked Woodford Reserve double oak. Um, gotta get one of those. Uh, that, that drink I was talking about, is the Freetown Reserve. Um, she did say that it was an old fashioned. I don't know that it's technically an old fashioned because if I remember correctly, it is strictly the Woodford Reserve Double Oak and they um, smoke it. I don't believe they put anything else in it. Um, one other thing that's a little bit different from the last time we were here, I don't know if they just weren't doing it last time, we missed out, but um, they actually left some dried fruit Papaya, mango, pineapple, I believe, uh, was the combination. But that's, uh, to me, um, that's something new. So that's, that's kind of cool. I mean, like I said, this is just uh, just basically Woodford Reserve Double Oak, which has really become uh, one of my favorite uh, favorite bourbons. Um, I will say, with this, wait a minute, that that ice is turning blue. They didn't do that last time. Um, this might be a little different. I don't know. I will say, at least based off of the last time, you'll want to be sure to get the first few sips in with the smoke in there. Um, it is it is so good so yeah um, this one's different this is not what I had last time and I even remember talking to the uh, the bartender and he said it was, it was just Woodford Reserve double oak with uh, with the uh, and it was smoked this it does have like a blue raspberry or some flavor to it strange yeah, I, I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, there, there's definitely a different flavor to it than it had last time. And I'm assuming it's coming from this blue ice cube. Um, huh, I'll have to ask and see if they'll, they'll give me an idea. I will say that um, I think I prefer it the, the, the way that I remember it from last time. And I know it did not have a... In fact, it was a nice big um, square cube. I'm going to have to go back and look at that video uh, from previously. In fact, what I'll do is link that video right here and uh, y'all can check it out because to me it, it, it looks and tastes completely different. So my server Nina did verify that it has changed, although I was a little bit wrong. Um, so the previous version did have some black cherry um, flavor uh, uh, to it. But that was it. She said they've added some other uh, infusions to it. Uh, so it is a little bit different. I do prefer it the other way, but this way is not bad. Uh, 
garden somewhere in the night. <laughs> It's a bad name. She didn't go green. Na 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 na. This is called a bad name.